wanted to do this tutorial real quick because our graphics coder pointed out that he thinks there's an often misunderstood uh, parameter in render settings that just mostly gets left as default. Now, I'm not going to be able to clear it all up in a really quick time window because getting into things like shutter speed, f-stop, ISO can you know, really start to take a lot, kind of a deep dive. Um, things to know is shutter speed in iRay doesn't actually work like you would think where it blurs images and leaves things open. Imagine it's just really the, the aperture stays open really long. But what we're gonna focus on here in render settings in tone mapping is exposure value. It's default to 13, which actually modifies these other values and puts them into a formula to give you that, that number. And think of this like it's good for a cloudy day. So you can see our purple sphere here, kind of basic lighting. This is from the default uh, resources lightings. Now, if you wanted to see how this changes, if you go 15, that's the tone mapping for a fully sunlit day. And so you got to think we're bringing the exposure down because the lights in the scene should be going up. And that helps even out the end result. And so 15 is for a very sunny day. 14 is partly cloudy, 13 would be cloudy, then 12 would be if you're in the shade, so you can start to see more of this light starting to hit, more of the exposure to say, starting to change, and you start to see some of these values change. Um, and then we'll go to twilight. But what gets really interesting is if you start wanting to deal with interior shots, so like a in home interior that says, you know, you maybe minus six or even, you know, really, really dark moonlit night, you might be at like minus three. So you can see how that really like changes the results because I'm not changing anything about the lighting. It's just living with the lighting that I have. And if I set this back to default. You can see uh, it, it evens out those results because this is, again, think of it like a cloudy day. So in visual effects, the easiest thing in the world to comp is a, cloudy day, overcast day, because it really mutes the shadows and gives you kind of an ambient light. Um, it's just so you can see what happens if you turn tone mapping off, you can see how it really, you know, doesn't manage the light nearly as well. So just keep that in mind when you, if you're trying to get more intense lighting or more specific driven lighting in your scenes, if it feels like everything feels very flat and you can't get away from that kind of omni ambient light look, it's likely because this value is, is set at 13. Hopefully that's helpful.